Hi guys! <laughs> What's up good people, aka winners? That's what we do, A. That's all we do, eh, 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 eh. I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. We are back y'all and da, 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 da. number one I have a new hairdo again. I cut it lower Peep it out. I got braids Okay, cuz I was just ready for like like low maintenance right now, but um, I am gonna take it down This is just for the sake of this video. Okay, but I'm super duper excited because in the last video I did on um, what was it the Patrick star products and then I did the update which yeah Like I'll link both of those videos in this video, but I told you guys about this makeup forever foundation the girl raved about it in sephora the rep that was helping me the say at the same time i got the patrick star i mean you would think she worked for makeup forever i'm just saying she was saying that it stays on like for a long time and it does not transfer now you guys know how i feel well first of all hold up before we get down to the nitty gritty do not forget to join the fan bam okay get on in here like that button smash that like they be saying smash that subscribe button okay customize your notifications so you don't miss a beat because I don't always upload every week on the same day but I do it as you know as often as I can but back to what I was saying she was saying that it does not transfer and she loves that and she loves the lasting power of it and she loves the way that it doesn't feel like she's wearing anything at all and I think she said that she had normal to dry skin and I believe that this is um, marketed as like a mattifying foundation which I was like that's pretty interesting but as I look it up right quick y'all already know and if you don't know, you about to know. Let me tell you how I feel about makeup that claims to be transfer proof. Yeah, I don't really believe it. <laughs> because granted the actual liquid may be transfer proof like once you put it on it may be transfer proof it may not like like you can let it dry let it dry down let it set and then like try to apply a paper towel or wipe it with a paper towel and it may not really transfer however you know that you know we do some things and we do highlighting and we do contouring and we add a highlighter and we add a setting powder once you add all that stuff I know the stuff that I have transferred, so I ain't even got a lot to kick it. But pause for the cause. I'm feeling it a little extra today. So I woke up and decided that I was going to be extra. Look at these lashes. I doubled them up. These are the um, Ardell 213. Booyah. Love them. I love them. It is called Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Long Wear Foundation. First of all, I got the shade 4Y66. Um, and in parentheses, it says Y528. We did. I'm praying we don't have no issue. Let me just open this before we do specs because listen, she gave me the wrong on one for Patrick Star, so I just want to make sure it looks like it looks like it's okay. Oopie, no, Lord help me, because this looks orange. Whoo! I told her that I was Y505, and we matched, and we thought we found the right one. So y'all, listen, why, why? I'll, a moment of silence, and let's just pray. What it is is an undetectable liquid foundation that blurs and covers imperfections for up to 24 hours powered by a micro skin system that syncs with the skin for true to skin finish and it says the, the coverage is medium and the finish is natural the formula is liquid the new and improved version of ultra hd foundation is powered by technology that enhances performance and undetectably for skin that looks like skin under any light. Comfortable and easy to apply this medium to full coverage foundation so it can be full. And trust and believe, let me get my let, let me get my concealer like right now. We're using Patrick Star. Let me get it right now. Let me get my powders right now. But anyway, I'm gonna do my Makeup Forever. Actually, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. <sighs> So we already know that I have some situations on my face that are like fading away, but we're going to help them just kind of disappear. I'm going to correct and I'm also going to conceal. We just, we just going, we just going, we just going to believe that this is it. Cause that bottle was scary. Look at that. That's scary. That look a little orange, like oompa loompa doopa dee dee. She smell good though. Real fresh. Like. It smells like a um a cleanser, but not like a harsh cleanser, like a really like a clean cleanser, like mm, I don't know, or maybe a lotion. So we're gonna bring her down. Yeah. Like the first day of my new hairstyle, what we gonna do is make sure that this 
works for me. Oh my lord. It feels good though. It feels good. That is definitely a little orange though. But you know what? If I could do Fenty, we could do you girl. That does look pretty flawless though. Look at that, look how juicy that looks. I didn't even see where it said mattifying actually, but I thought I saw that in the store. Y'all see how it just really kind of gives that, I don't know, it's making my skin look really healthy, but you know we're not just stopping at one, like one coat. You know we're not doing that, okay? We don't do that over here. Only time I don't really go in is when I'm like just, you know, just doing makeup like for church, like I've been doing it very light lately, or if I just simply do like concealer and powder and that's it, then I don't have to like go in I will say that the last video I did on Patrick Star, I have like fallen in love with his concealer because I don't literally have to let it sit. It makes me look like flawless before I even do anything else. Like he did a great job and I feel like you'll see it. I did a video and I compared this concealer to the Too Faced concealer that I use in Butterscotch. I totally did like a side by side. That video is the video where I did like an update on his stuff too. And let me tell you the shade just in case you're wondering. This is the Patrick Star concealer. One side and it is the dark in one and that's what she looks like and she is verily I say unto you it's good um she's very very close to the Too Faced Born This Way butterscotch concealer if you guys use that one and I will be using my Fenty and I have a new concoction of how I do my highlighter but if I didn't tell you guys this is how the bottle looks like I, I think I was a little distraught by the whole color but um this is how the bottle looks it does feel like it's glass and um it has you know but basically stand Standard makeup forever but the top is just a little bit different and so first I go on top with my Graftobian the name is not even on here but first I go on top with my Gra Graftobian and then I seal it with like the Sasha Buttercup and this is where I kind of like set a little bit now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty powder this is the 390 and this is you know it has a little more yellow so I'm actually gonna pair it with this but foundation didn't do bad like it didn't do nothing like what it looked it had me a little scared all right so I'm le just letting you guys know what I'm putting on here I'm doing the Juvia's Place correct I mean not corrector contour you know I don't use a whole lot because I don't really need to and then I always tell you guys that I think that Becca um these blushes have been discontinued but I'm going in with Dahlia whenever I want that like red type of cheek I go for that now wait a minute oh Oh, oh, oh no, oh, oh, I always do something. I feel like these days I always feel something and I don't understand. All right, let me show you my little concoction of this highlighter that I've been popping. So it is over cosmetics. If you guys ever want to get a discount, you can always use code C key. But I start off with this um this highlighter in Beverly Hills. The whole pack is called Beverly Hills, but this is the shade that I go to, Abby. And I take a smaller brush. This is the the um, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill 34 and I just like to use this to place it first because I don't know it just I feel like I can just be a little more precise and then I blend it out with the bigger brush after that and then I go into the Ofra this one is called the X's and Glows well X's and Glows but the shade in this one is gingerbread and they have another shade I'm gonna have to show you guys because I gotta try it it's another shade that is similar to this gingerbread but I believe it has a little more like like yellow in it it's not as cool as this one is but this works very good I actually I'm gonna put this on my nose with the same brush that I use for the other one and then I'm gonna take this Becca brush I don't know if this is still available but it was a highlighter brush I got at an event and then I'm gonna go into gingerbread again and I am going to just put that on top of that Beverly Hills and blend that like for me I can never do too much highlighter but you guys might want to stop here I want to tell you guys this because this is I, I bought like two more bottles I don't know if y'all see them back there there you go I bought two more and then I have uh, that one so this is where I do the spray I love that spray do you guys see how that just made everything mesh all right family so edgy right mm. so random thought or I'll tell you this I did have my ends clipped prior to getting these braids installed so I did not want to cut that my hair sticking out I need to like take some edge control or something but don't let that take you away from all of the mm, I'm giving okay so you see the foundation it did um kind of you can see the demarcation just a little bit so I took my paper towel just a little bit so it's not so bad it is a little bit orange but Fenty does me the same way what you thinking what you thinking what you thinking I 
love it so far. So what I'll do, it is 11.45 a.m. And so I will come back around maybe eight or nine-ish and then I will show you guys the final product. So just stay tuned because I'm not the final product, like how it, you know, stood the test of time, like how it held up. I'll come back and show you guys. It's giving what it needs to give. That's all the way close. Don't mind the little situations here, but yes, ma'am and sir and madam and all of y'all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I'm doing right now, just like this, but I'll come back later and I'll let you guys know, like if I had to blot, how it held up. It looks good. I'm feeling like a good, like I did a good old beat. Uh, I'm feeling myself right now, okay? See, Key, back again. Okay, yeah, honey, look at here. And I did blot once, but let me tell you something. I have a, oh, let me take my AirPod out. I have a disclaimer though. I'm gonna put this down here. I have a disclaimer. First of all, let me see what time it is. It is 9.49. I put this on at like 11. Okay, it's a little bit of a shadow. Maybe if I come down here. So I have a disclaimer, cause I gotta tell you, I didn't realize this until after the video. Like, um, I forgot to put primer, okay? But I don't know that primer, my primer would stop me from getting oily like this, but I'll try that again and I'll update you guys. This is not, uh, this might be my third time blotting. So that might be why it's breaking up a little bit too. But yeah, I don't know if it's because I didn't do a primer or if it's because that's just the nature of this product. I'm not sure. Not bad, but that blotting, that oily. What is up, family? We are back. And so I put this foundation on just for a recap because it's been a long video, okay? This is like a two-day thing. Um, this is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Now, I could have sworn that in the store, I saw that it said it was like mattifying or something like that because I remember telling the rep, like, it's interesting that you have like normal to dry skin and you like mattifying, right? So I, I automatically kind of thought it was like, a, um, you know, like people that have that type of skin, they like the Fenty and they like the um, Born this way by Too Faced, which is interesting because those are kind of, they can be a little drying at times. Well, not the Too Faced, but more so the Fenty. And so anyway, so I could have sworn that I saw like mattifying, but maybe not because what is this? It had nothing to do with the fact that I did not use a primer. I thought that if I put a primer on that maybe it wouldn't do me the way that it did. Had it on at 7.30 a.m. It is now 2.33 p.m. But this I, I, I'm not a fan of it. The foundation is great, but this is a foundation that I don't know. I probably will wear it when it's like cooler months, like let's say winter, living in New York or something. <laughs> I don't know about LA weather. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this to be honest, because I can't, I can't. Like, I don't like to keep an eye on my foundation like this, but it gets back to normal if I blot. But the thing is, do I want to like really monitor it? That's my first impression on this foundation. It wouldn't be one that I would reach for, but it has a beautiful finish and it does feel really light. So that's it. That's all. Love y'all. Please do not forget to subscribe to the fam bam. Please comment, share, like, do all that good stuff. Cause it totally helps my channel. And I hope you guys have been loving the, um, the stories I've been putting, I've been doing posts. And then I did like a short and you guys kind of like that too. So I'm probably going to do more shorts, but that's it. You guys have an awesome blessed day. And I'm not going to say that I'll see you soon. Sooner than you think. But I'll see you soon, okay? And um, stay tuned. Bye. Tiki, me, coffin, this is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Tiki Beauty makeover.